Let's mm -hmm. show the poem to Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in the poem yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Goo? Goo. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little bit blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. I just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Oh, this is this is good. Yep. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. But that's about it. Love that moment. Yeah. There's a layer to that that I'm concerned with. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like that. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your messages any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But then, the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, and then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Okay, Monica. Monica. Here we go. Enjoy. Hi, Pibby. Oh, this is you again. Hi, Pibby. Yeah, having a good time so far? Yeah, great time. Nothing's going wrong yet. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring them up, okay? Can we have Sayori back? I don't think That's so. a recommendation that I would want very much. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway. Want to share your poem with me? Yeah, sure. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Uh -huh. Don't worry, Pebby. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's the sort of barrier that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Pibby. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. Ooh. 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 Ooh, my. And it's really metaphorical. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism? Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that that's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's where she gets to be happy, so... Whoa. <laughs> but that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri. I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? Uh, I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Okay. 
Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's meet it then. Hole in wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings, but my eyes, but my burned eyes can see no, we can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears? The room starts to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right here. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. This is a poem about being nervous to share the poem with me. Sort of. I think? Am I being too, like, am no, I okay. internalizing this? You, <laughs> in the world, yeah, you totally nailed it. Okay. But, like, how there's the poem and there's that layer that you just got, mm -hmm. there's a layer underneath that. Oh, no. Yeah. If you can, uh, get that. I, I, I can't see the second layer just yet. I don't know her well enough. Like, yeah, that's okay. What I barely know, she's super controlling. Uh-huh. I'm sure. And After I post these videos, like, go back and watch it. You'll have a good time. Well, I wonder if she feels, like, powerless when she's not in total control. And you if think? maybe this is a little bit of that. Uh-huh. Goo. We'll I don't know. It's gonna be something crazy. She's gonna be able to spit fire or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you think? It's gonna roast me, like, literally. Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh... Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Oh no. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about these stuff like that, because it kind of comes off strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fr fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper, and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get a dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. Okay, Yuri. You're high key crazy, but let's let's go for it. Mm -hmm. Goo. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes light. Exceptional. Eh? What was that? Goo. Did did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, then end up covering her whole face. I. Goo. He's gonna hate me. Um. You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's. I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? I don't. Your you use of imagery poems. and metaphors indicate you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, it's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Goo. Well, I know that. I just meant, uh, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognized in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Okay, so this is the same thing as before. Mm -hmm. Stammering's completely gone, she sounds like an expert. Of course, it's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a single poem. 
not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. That's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamingly, dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm. Breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Okay, that's the same poem as last time. Mm -hmm. I don't see... So she's afraid of the future? Honestly, I don't know. Okay. I think this poem is kind of dumb. Well, we get we'll, we get more information about her later, and yeah. I'm sure we're going to get to know her crazy side <laughs> real well. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. Uh, it is it is pretty hard to read. It's cursive. Yeah. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hoo-hoo. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Pibby. It's about me. I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you didn't want really to glance over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. It's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. It's impressive. Eh? It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Ah, uh, if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah, uh, you know... I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Pibby. Okay? Ah, me too. <laughs> Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Oh yeah, he's... The music is messed up now. A little bit. A yeah. little bit. <laughs> Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems could stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss his symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the languages, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh. <sighs> You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Th thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And Pibby did, too. That's true. Mm -hmm. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. 
I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. <laughs> which I haven't yet. <sighs> and Pippi liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. No one's gonna break up this fight! Yeah. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Ooh. You, you're you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe they're just jealous... Maybe you're just jealous that Pibby appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he wouldn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Pibby started showing up. That's where it was cut off last time, right? I think it when went away. Sayori... Okay. N Natsuki? Um, Nats... Oh, this is you. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This, this doesn't, doesn't involve you! you. Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch. What? <laughs> edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. What is happening? <laughs> Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try? Whoa, be careful or you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? What is happening? <laughs> yeah, go on. Let Pibby hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Ah! Suddenly Yuri turns toward me as if she just noticed I was standing here. And we're just back to normal? No. Pibby! She... she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Goo. What? What? Who do you agree with? No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I agree with both of you, and I think you're a little heated right now, and you just need to take a step back. Mm. You just all need to remember that we're friends in the literature club. Everything is really bad right now, but I'm sure it'll get better. I don't... If I don't pick Yuri, she's going to kill me, and if, I, and if I don't pick Natsuki, I don't know what's going to happen. I say go with your heart. Oh, uh, Shay! <laughs> Shay, I love and hate this game. <laughs> I just... Uh, no! Hmm. Hmm. Ride or die, Natsuki. No, ride or die, everyone. So next time, because we, we something have... bad happens. Go here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I go. I go. Hey. I. What? Keep going. Can I? What's the? Hi, Monica. <laughs> I have to click around you, don't I? I don't want you to turn into a monster. Mm -hmm. Okay. There she is. Hi, Monica. What's, what's up? Ooh. Um, um, hey, hey. Pippi. Right. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Okay? Yeah. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. Uh-huh. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. uh -huh -huh. Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway... If this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. Oh, you she's trying to control me. I'd be happy if you spend time with I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh yeah. I haven't seen that face. 
She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Pibby, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it to by tomorrow. Completely. Because she's gonna, like, blackmail her into not talking about it. Yeah? I'd probably... <laughs> probably <laughs> goo. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Goo? Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Goo. Goo. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Pibby. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really... <laughs> Poem time! What happened? I don't know. Did she, did she, who died? What? <sighs> Alright. So are you going after Natsuki now? Or? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>